How to measure blood pressure. Measuring blood pressure is a basic clinical skill. Sometimes though, steps are missed, leading to inaccurate readings. Here's how to measure blood pressure correctly using a manual device. The same procedure is followed with a digital device, but without a stethoscope. Be sure the person is relaxed and comfortable. If she has hurried to her appointment, arrives stressed, or has just smoked or had coffee, have her wait at least five minutes before taking her blood pressure. The blood pressure cuff must be the right size. The bladder inside the cuff should go around at least three quarters of the upper arm. If the cuff is too small, use a larger one. The person sits with both feet on the floor and her back supported. The arm is relaxed and at rest. You and the person should not talk during the blood pressure measurement. The upper arm should be bare, though if the sleeve is thin, it will be okay to put the cuff over it. Position the cuff by placing the artery mark towards the inside of the arm where the main artery is located. Then wrap the cuff snugly around the upper arm one or two fingers above the arm crease with enough room to allow two fingers beneath. The cuff should be at the level of the heart. To avoid overinflating the cuff or underestimating the top number, feel the pulse as you inflate the cuff. At the point where you feel the pulse disappear, Inflate the cuff another 30 points. Now, press your stethoscope over the location of the artery at the inside of the bend in the person's arm. Slowly and steadily release the valve and listen for the tapping sounds. The systolic blood pressure is the number when you first hear the heart sounds. This is the top number. The needle may move with the heartbeat, but our measurement is based on the sounds that we hear, not on what we see. The diastolic blood pressure is the number when the sounds disappear. This is the bottom number. Now, open the screw valve and let the air completely out. If the blood pressure is elevated, take it again after a few minutes. Use the lower of the two readings for the record. Share the results with the person and explain what they mean. A person has high blood pressure if the top number is 140 or higher or the bottom number is 90 or higher on two different visits. Remember, be sure the person is sitting with their feet on the floor and their back supported. The cuff must be the right size and the arm relaxed. Feel the pulse as you inflate the cuff. Once it disappears, inflate it another 30 points. Now, measure the blood pressure. 